VS Code's built-in token inspector lets you explore how syntax highlighting is being applied to your code. You can use this when developing a new theme or a new grammar, and you can also use it with some of the VS Code settings to customize syntax highlighting in your files. To open the token inspector, first I'm going to open the command palette with Control shift p or Command shift p on Mac, and say inspect, and I want the developer inspect editor tokens and scopes command here. When I run this, you can see a new window is opened up, and this is displaying all of the relevant syntax highlighting information for my current cursor position. So as I click around, you'll notice this information is being updated. Let's just go back to the public keyword here. So it is displaying the current token that we're on, in this case public, the current language, and then the current foreground and background colors that are actually being computed. So kind of this dark blue color here. And the way that these colors are being computed is a combination of the TextMate scopes and a theme. So here are all of the relevant TextMate scopes. This is a storage modifier that is being computed by the TextMate grammar. We're inside a method declaration, inside of a class, and so on. The final color that we're actually seeing on the screen, though, is coming from a combination of the theme targeting the storage modifier scope here. So you can see that the theme is giving the foreground color for a storage modifier to this, which is kind of a dark blue color. And that is what the color we're actually seeing is coming from. Now, as you click around, you might also find some tokens that have an additional section, and that is the semantic token information. So plugin manager, for example, the language server is telling us that the semantic token type here is a read-only property. So we could actually target read-only properties more specifically in either our theme or using the VS Code settings. And all of the semantic information here will override the text made information that is coming in by default. Now, why is this useful? Well, you can use the semantic information and the TextMate scope information when you're writing a new theme. And if you're writing a grammar, you can make sure that the scopes that it is generating are correct. You can also use this information with the VS Code settings to customize the look of your code. So I'm going to dismiss this window by pressing Escape, and then open up my VS Code settings over here. And I have two settings that I've been using here. So I have editor token color customization, which is targeting the storage modifier scope, so public, for example. And that's using a TextMate rule. And I was able to get that from the token inspector. And you can see it's turned this uh, all the storage modifiers bright red. And then over here, I have editor semantic token color customizations. That is targeting properties. And you can see that it's turned all properties this kind of bright, hot pink color there. So with these two settings, I was able to use information I got from the token inspector to dramatically change the look of my code. So that's a quick look at VS Code's built-in token inspector.